two minutes. Jackson Studio. Uh, live from the Midtown Jackson Studio and live from well in to Deep 13, this is Last Call Cafe on Spreaker with the animalistic Jay the Brain Man, the animalistic Matthew the Wizard Nichols, and the pause for consideration. Steve, the Baxman Baxley. I'm Franklin Pangborn, your announcer, with Morgul as a friendly drone. Let's go to the cafe and find out what's going on and join the guys on a whole crowd. It's Lost Call Ten, Cafe nine, on eight, seven, six, two, one. You're on. I just realized I've had us muted. This was All right, directed. For real. Okay. okay. That moment of silence was aptly needed. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Corsican Ball. That's right. It's another edition of the Last Call Cafe, or in simple English, L2C. That's right. The only show where we enter your mind and do things with it that you seldom, if ever, can realize. That's right. And as Franklin Pangborn said in 
the intros. I am Steve the Baxman Baxley, and uh, let's do it proper. Ladies and gentlemen, we got with us the man, the myth, the legend, the king of spaghetti sauce, the king of gamers. I offer you applause, if you will, please, to the man himself, Mr. Matthew Nichols, the wizard. Thank you. And speaking of legend, Derry, he is still the undefeated intergender wrestling champion of the world, and he is still the manager of champions. He also hosts Wrestle Anime Hut with some big mouth named Steve. He is a D1, D only. Thank you very much. Now, why the moment of silence? Why indeed? Well, it is because we do this broadcast with heavy hearts as a good friend of this broadcast uh, passed away and uh, the entire comedy industry owes a deal of respect to this man because he never cared about cancel culture. He was cool as the other side of the pillow. And he made people laugh from Howard Stern to a few politicians, folks. This man made Saturday nights on USA as outrageous as Rhonda Shear did uh, for Friday nights on USA as host of the incredibly uh, cosmic USA Up All Night, or in this man's case, USA Up All Night. So for one last time, in memory, Rain, give us the wave. Yes, Steve Vicious Gilbert Gottfried saying, you couldn't even wipe my ass, let alone do a half-decent imitation of me, okay? There you go. Gilbert, from comic genius to host of a late-night show, to doing your own podcast. Nobody did it better, and no one will ever do it better. You will be missed, not only by your fellow comedians, but by a lot of fans who you brought along the way. There will never be another Gilbert Gottfried. Thank gosh there's only one. We'll still have the memories, and that voice is right now giving God a few fits. Thanks, Gilbert. The memories we'll share will last a lifetime. And with that, let us do it proper. Gentlemen, Gilbert Gottfried. All right, let me get the microphone fixed there. So, okay, folks, it is now time for us to do what we normally do in this half, and that is to give G4 at least some publicity. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Franklin Pangborn to do this intro. Thank you very much. It is time for Gamer News, presented by Pluto. TV. Hundreds of channels for zeros of dollars, and best of all, it's free. There are some channels dedicated to anime, and of course, the newest channel dedicated 
to G4 called G4 Select. Pluto.tv. Sit back, strap in, strap on, and enjoy. Now with Gamer News, here's the wizard, Matthew Nichols. All right. This week on Gamer News, well, Kingdom Hearts had its 20th anniversary celebration. Well, at least one of them. And we got a few announcements. The first announcement we had was the final chapter to the mobile game Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key Dark Road. Is now is coming up pretty soon. Then we have another mobile game coming out called Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, which is supposed to be like Kingdom Hearts Pokemon Go in a way. And then the final news for it, which is the biggest one, the announcement of Kingdom Hearts 4, which is going to be the start of a new arc, which is called the Lost Masters arc. And man, did that trailer look pretty damn good. And that's pretty much it for Gamer News. And that's Gamer News. Presented by Pluto.tv. Hundreds of channels for zeros of dollars. Including the newest channel, G4 Select. Of the old G4 library. Strap in, strap on, and enjoy. Gentlemen, back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Pangs. And uh, welcome back to this show. Yes, right. Okay. Uh, Let us get to some uh, weirdness. That's right. It is I before ye, yes. As we bring you some weird... Crazy and insane news from around the world, the offbeat and the beat off, however you can say it. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. okay, hang on, folks. Got to. All right, boom. All right, from our friends. <laughs> All right, Peoria residents say roaming cows are causing problems in their community. (laughs) That's right. Let's from our friends at Fox Five at Fox Ten Phoenix. Realtors have the expertise. Well, let's put it this way: apparently, the people of Peoria are getting a little disgusted with the the roaming um, milk churners, the cows. Apparently they have taken over places like schools and a uh, few other little uh, side paths. Leading one resident to say must be a convention in town. And that's true. It's got to be a convention in town. So uh, here's the solution. To get the ignorant ranchers, this is the words, quick fix here to get the ignorant ranchers' attention, make a local public announcement that any cow roaming the streets after seven days can be legally harvested by anyone. A-holes will jump then. (laughs) Uh, One person even uh, sent in a solution. A... Set up temporary yards. Two, two yard cattle. Three, contact local slaughterhouse to send truck around and collect cattle. And we won't go four and five because I think you know obviously the joke. In more weirdness, and this time we have the story. The first low-scoring restaurant in Knoxville, Tennessee, is in Hamlin County. Half a dozen critical violations were checked off of this eatery. The inspector wrote that he found frozen shrimp thawing in a wet mop sink. Frozen food should be thawed in a refrigerator. 
Also, the inspector found shrimp sitting in a dirty drain with food and other debris around it. In total, 40 pounds of shrimp were thrown away. The inspector also wrote that food was found stored on the floor throughout the kitchen. Food is supposed to be kept up in shelves. Now the Golden Dragon has been checked the second time. The original violations were corrected, and the new score is now a 90. Ooh. I thought we were through with shrimp. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Ooh. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, and more uh, news of the weird. At least something that uh, you got here. Uh, doctors say a man tore uh, his lung. How did he tear it? From masturbating. This, this definitely... This, Either he was doing it wrong, or some of us have been doing it wrong, and honestly, not sure which. As I say, the chicken chokes back. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, let's see. Uh, No, better not do that one. Well, we got some weird weirdness, and we even got more weirdness. Uh, let's see, do we have anything on this? Yes, finally, I touch, it comes. Some Gillette Elementary, in Austin, Texas, some Gillette Elementary School students received a rather strange item Thursday from the Easter Bunny, condoms. In a letter to parents, Gillette Principal Tammy Thompson said that a parent had visited the campus in northwest Austin Thursday afternoon during a dismal, uh, excuse me, during dismissal, dressed as the Easter Bunny, and handed out plastic eggs. Thompson said that some eggs contained candy, but some students were also given unopened condoms by the parent. Gillette parents were assured in the letter that this was not planned or sanctioned by the school. Austin ISD said the parent was asked to leave, but they went to the public sidewalk and continued to give away eggs, an act the district called an incredibly careless and inappropriate action. I would call it, well... I would call it definitely uh, it laid an egg. The district says it's working with the Austin ISD Police Department on any repercussions for the parent. Well, it gives a new meaning to the, to the question, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Um, yeah. From from the Daily Record... Okay. From the Daily Record, the wonderful folks... A man became pregnant with flies after dozens of larvae hatched in his eye. Doctors were forced to use triceps to remove the bot flies, which were found screaming around his cornea, according to a report in the New England Journal of Medicine. The 53-year-old patient had gone to the hospital after complaining of an itching sensation that refused to go away. A man from France told doctors he'd been gardening near a farm that had horse and sheep before feeling something enter his eye. Upon further examination, medics discovered more than a dozen mobile translucent larvae in the whites of his eye, the membrane lining the eyelids, and also his cornea, the outer layer of the eye. Botflies, also known as ostrae, grow inside animals' flesh, usually sheep or livestock. The flies lay up to 500 eggs on mammals or places where they sleep and can even end up in the gut if licked. Uh, the man was diagnosed with external ophthalmitis, uh, or rather an infestation of the outer structures of the eye, by fly larva, according to the University of Hospital of Saint-Tien. Doctors used forceps to pluck each one out, but luckily the man was completely recovered by his checkup appointment ten days later. There was a fly in the ointment. Oh, boy, I tell you. Okay, what's next? Uh, let's see. Uh, nothing. Uh, let's see. 
Um, hmm. I think we'll pass on that one. And uh, Elon Musk offers to buy Twitter for $41 billion. Meanwhile, uh, the Apollo, uh, the private equity firm Apollo, which owns uh, Cox Media Group, has offered to top him. Good luck. I mean, Twitter can't get any worse than what it is right now. Well, that's true. That's true. But whoever buys it, I I hope you bring it back to the Twitter that we all knew and love. Yeah, before all the Tumblr per- people came in and started screwing stuff up. Yep. <laughs> ah, yes. It is time now for the man who gives the meaning of the term mess. Franklin Pangborn, do your duty. It is time now for... Wrongs to be righted. For the sweet stench... Of time... To find somebody... For the insidious belch of the week. Presented by Scope Mouthwash. Keep your breath minty fresh. Use Scope. Before somebody steals your girlfriend or boyfriend for any other opinion. Here he is, a general himself. Big Jimmy, Billy Bob Bo Schwartz, along with First Lieutenant Jimmy and Corporal Jimmy. One of these days, we'll get the sound effects fixed. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Great to be back. Nice to see you're not normal yet. All right. Sound off. You got a pair. Bex, man. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I understand you got uh, in, you got a uh, good gig now. Yeah, but I'm not being used this week. You've got to be kidding. Nope. Nope, but the guy said, hey, work third shift. Come on by Monday. So I did, and called and said oh great got two other people that are that i put on the shift so so tell them to get home and uh yes they just told me to get home and (laughs) next week he'll tell me if i'm needed i have a feeling i've been had but i will give him the bod the benefit of the doubt and see if he does i've signed the contract so I officially work at uh, at the uh, at the cab company, so I got no choice. I will wait. Well, how else are you doing? I'm co- I'm coping, and um, thanks to some good friends and some good people, I uh, I'm going to pull through this. Things are going to get better. I know. Anyway, you got your duty to do, so please do. All right. First, of course, Corporal Jimmy, First Lieutenant Jimmy, how you guys doing? <clears throat> I'm doing well, Joe. Big Jimmy, Billy Bobo Schwartz. Yes, I'm doing okay, too, sir. I had a nice little trip with the little woman. Oh, yeah, you were dating somebody. Who is it? Well, sir, it's a, uh, it's one of them there adult dancers. Oh? What's her name? Uh, her name is Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth? Hmm. You know, that sounds a little familiar. Well, it should. It's your daughter. What? Uh, boy. Wait in the car. We gonna have a talk. Uh, yes, sir. I, I shouldn't have said it. I uh, understand you, son. Does Babette know? Well, of course she does. She set it up. Oh. 
Oh, now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yes, sir. I'm. I'm. I'll. I'll wait for you guys in the car. Yeah, you better. I mean, it's okay if they date, but it is. It. It is. Uh, it is what it is. What can I say? The boy. The boy is of age. Anyway, it is time to give a little. Uh, a little lap back and uh, oh by the way how are you uh wizard i'm doing okay by the way i think we may have a candidate for the belch oh good good and uh <laughs> brain how are you doing sir good okay uh matthew wizard uh to whom does you suggest? Well, we found out. Yes. Well, I found out that there have been streamers that have been misusing tags, even though they have nothing to do with streams, such as the VTuber tag, when they are not a VTuber. Pretty much. Very much abusing in the VTuber tag just to get viewers mislabeling themselves. So these here rogue VTubers, or or in the French word faux VTubers, are sort of, are sort of ruining things. For the real McCoy. Yeah, pretty much misinformation. Pretty much trying to get the VTuber audience to their streams. One of them being S M the Gold, and when someone called her out on it, she pretty much ranted and raved. Yeah. And also, we got a Twitch bot situation again. This time, fall bots. All right, then. Uh, any other nominees? Nope. In that case, to the full V2 VTubers and the full Twitch bots, what are you doing back here? Well, uh,. I just want you to know I love your daughter. Okay, then. You treat her well, then. Anyway, what have we given the, uh... The Belchatron 2022? Hmm. Well, I gave, gave it the entire menu of Burger King. Let's hope this time it doesn't accidentally blow up anyone's houses. Especially the shrine and the den. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, also Granny Maya was not really too happy with you two. Pretty much blowing up her shrine. And now your souls are kind of in debt right now. Until you idiots prepare the shrines. <laughs> oh, oh, oh crap, that's right. And also Maya got ordered so red so. Yep. Uh, yeah, and let's not forget, and, uh, let's not forget, uh, uh, Vinny and Louie are, uh, wanting, uh, uh, repair for, uh, their roof and, uh, the monster that lives in, uh, the New York, in the, uh, Newark River. Yeah, I was wondering about that. You guys gonna be, uh... Doing the honors of the repair job? Well, uh, yes, yes, sir. We're, we're going to be doing that this week. So we may not be on the air next Sunday. Okay, <laughs> then. Thank you for yeah, reminding us. Yeah, it's going to take a while. <laughs> yeah, okay. you also got to repair the den. Yeah. 
You got a lot to do in the next few days. <laughs> All right. Have we fed the Belchatron? It's your view. All right. You VTubers and you fo you faux VTubers and you faux Twitch bots, be warned. When you get belched, you get belched. Ready? It's, yeah, yes. It's not it's it's not VTubers, it's people that are, it's non VTubers using the VTuber tag. That's why we call them full B2, VTubers or oh, faults. Okay. We know who the real ones are. So to the false ones, this belch is for you. When ready, fire! Uh. Oh, you didn't accidentally give him a little scope, did you? Because that was semi, semi stink. Nope, we didn't give him any scope. I looked at the ingredients, no scope, but uh, it, it it did sort of level off. Well, that was good of you. Uh, no damages. All right. Wait a minute. Do we have one damage? Do we? Nope, oh, I, I don't. I hope not. I really hope not. Hey, guys. You guys did good this time. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, the residue just, just made our... Uh, our little friend here, Peppy, feel homesick for uh, Scotland. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got this monster from Scotland. Well, whereabouts? A place called Loch Ness. Oh boy. Uh, guys, we're gonna see you next week. We gotta talk to Vinny and Louie. Um. Or I'll be talking to Vinny and Louie. You two guys get ready to repair the roof. Yeah, we all got we all got to get back to the shrine. Well, after we get done repairing, it will be good. Oh boy, we got a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, okay. Oh boy, one may have found out that we accidentally blew up her shrine. She was pissed. Oh, oh man, and, uh, man uh, she gave me and my boy a, a big old scare. Uh, okay, uh, thank thank you guys. Uh, before we go, a little uh, brief newsory, newsatorium for you. For those of you wondering uh, what has happened with the return of G4, well, we got some good news. Actually, uh, let's just say Karma returned the favor and replacing uh Froshkin, or whatever her name is, uh, they have decided to sign, speaking of Twitch, one of the most popular Twitchers, Asmoroth, has reportedly signed a big deal to be a part of the new G4, which, of course, you can catch on the internet on uh, Xfinity. And on some cable systems, uh, like uh, FiOS and, uh, of course, yeah, Com Comcast. Uh, as, yeah, yeah, is it Amareth? Amareth, I think her name is, or Asmoreth. Yeah, she was one of the people that was misusing the VTuber tag. Oh, oh, oh. I, I saw, I saw, I saw her channel. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck is uh, made made her popular. I'm still trying to figure that out. Hot tub streamer. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, we just found out what we need—a hot tub. But <laughs> yeah, it's not in the budget. Nope, it's definitely not in the budget. Okay, don't have to rub it in. Uh, guys, we'll see you, uh, next Sunday.
Yep. Thanks, guys. I got to send these two to uh, New Jersey. Uh, say hello to uh, to the uh, little friend of the Loch Ness Monster guys. You're going to be working a little bit harder than before. Because I hear it likes being tickled on the belly. Uh, okay, so we, we got to get our latest invention for this job. Latest <laughs> invention? What is it that you idiots did this time? And by that time, <laughs> we invented something so stupid that it actually works. But now, what do you mean before we go? Our latest invention? Go ahead. It's called the 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 script the script the the script on the fifty five hundred a a scripture that pretty much can reach any location, and we made it out of. <laughs> Oh, the uh, two by four technology that we that we may or may not have have took into the kids' explore uh, really? three house and used it two by two by four two by four technology in order to break this extremely this really good back scratcher, the open locked monster, ah. and it totally like me. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be safe. Very safe. Oh, you think so? With a back scratcher. Good luck, boys. will not need it. Gentlemen, it's been fun. See you all next week. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, General. And folks, that is going to put a neat little bow on this show. We hope we're back next week. In fact, I know we're going to be back next week. Why? Because I have faith that There will be no tech issues, and we'll be back next Sunday at our regular time, so please join us then. And uh, just to answer the question that's been uh, boggling the minds of many, uh, the the, uh, continuation of the building of the Twitch channel will continue, just haven't gotten the date set up yet, and... uh, I want to thank you all very much for uh, watching, and uh, all we can tell you is until things start to get uh, back to a little bit of normality, uh, the building of the Twitch channel is going to be, uh, the finishing of the building of our Twitch channel is going to be a little delayed, but it won't be too long, and then you'll be able to... Uh, bask in the glory of something very nice, I hope. But yeah, for... let me know let me know what we have to do stay once the oh. show is over. Okay, shall do. Uh any new business, any old business, any final words, Brain? No, I got none. Uh Wizard? Okay. Um Rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey. Thank you for everything you've done throughout your years. <laughs> and that is, I think, a great way to end it. And we shall. And if you're wondering about Wrestle Anime Hut, uh, we will be back to do that, I do believe, uh, Sunday. Yep. So everything's going. So everything is going back to normal, or as close to normal as we'll ever get. But thank you all very much for being a part of the show. We will talk to you uh, Sunday at the same little rock time. But for now, Mr. Pangborn, please do what you do the best. This has been The Last Call Cafe presentation of Mystifying Creativity Productions in association with Brainwave Entertainment. Gamer News is produced in association with Wizard World Productions. This is your announcer, Franklin Pangborn, speaking. This is the L2C Media Network. Ah! Ah! Ah!
I told you guys, never defeat the pterodactyl. Good night, everybody.